short essay on winter vacation. Vacations are the best part in a student's life. Students are lucky to get two long vacations each year. Though summer vacations are longer, I love winter vacations more as I have several beautiful memories associated with them. I wait for these vacations all year round and am extremely excited about them. I make numerous plans for these vacations and live them to the fullest. Our winter vacations usually begin on Christmas which is one of my favorite festivals. So, I start my vacations with Christmas shopping. I visit the local markets with my mother to buy decorative items and colorful lights for my Christmas tree. Me and my brother decorate the Christmas tree and love it when it lights up. During the vacations we visit our cousins or call them home to spend few days together. I love the company of my cousins. We all have a great time together. My mother also makes sure that we study for at least two hours each day to prepare for the exams ahead. New Year also comes during winter vacations. We usually have a small house party to ring in the new year. It is a small get-together wherein we invite our close relatives and friends. All in all, winter vacation is time for friends, family, cousins and lots of celebrations. I simply love it. Football essay. Football is one of the most entertaining games of the world. It is played by the youths in various countries with full interest. It has two big aspects, one is health and other is financial. It makes a person physically, mentally and financially strong as this game has lots of health benefits with a nice career. Earlier, it was played in the western countries however, later it spread to all over the world. Football is a round-shaped rubber bladder, made inside with leather, tightly filled with air. It is played by two teams having 11 players in each. It is played in a rectangular field of 110 meter long and 75 meter broad, properly marked with lines. Each team aims to make maximum goals by putting the ball in the opposite goal post at the back end of each team. There is a goalkeeper, two halfbacks, four backs, one left out, one right out, and two center forwards in the field for each team. It has some important rules which must be followed by each player while playing the game. It is started to be played from the center and no one player is allowed to touch the ball with hands except the goalkeeper. Importance of football game in India. Football is an outdoor game considered to be beneficial for both players and spectators. It is a game of much importance in the India especially in Bengal. Crazy football players do all the efforts to win the football match. Strong will of the watchers and players of this game motivate them a lot to achieve the success in life. It makes people more enthusiastic and interested to play and watch the game. A football match attracts a huge crowd of eager and curious spectators from the nearby regions. It is a team game which teaches team spirit to all the players. It is 90 minutes long game played with a little break in two parts of 45 minutes. It is a game which makes players physically, mentally, socially, intellectually and financially healthy and strong. Thistle game has nice financial career so any student, much interested, can make his her bright career in this field. Playing this game regularly keeps one healthy and fit all time. Essay on Save Water Save Life. Introduction. Save water to save life on earth, this rule has become the prime need for all of us now. We all know that water is as essential as air to live on earth. The worst part is that fresh water has been declining day by day. Due to lack of water many natural crises are happening in world like drought, different diseases, environmental pollution and the global warming, still a major part of world population is not understanding the importance of water saving. Importance of water conservation. Cycle of nature is completely depends on water.
Until the water evaporates and mix into air there will be no rain on earth which causes damaged crops and worst situation of drought all over the place. Every living being whether they are human, animal or plants requires water to survive here. Not only for drinking water is essential for domestic use. Like washing, cleaning, moping, cooking and even for agriculture and industrial use including power plant. In many areas of India water is so less in quantity even fresh water is about to nil. In those places people have to either too much charge or to go hundreds of miles far to get potable water for the daily use. Water is so important constituent for all living beings that if we still not find the solution for conserving it, survival on earth would be in danger. Use of water for urbanization. Urban areas are generally found in the river side. Each and every industry require water for different types of manufacturing. Water is used for fabricating, processing, washing, diluting, cooling, or transporting a product. One of the major uses of water is in power plant to produce electricity. Conclusion. On Earth water is a limitless natural resource which again forms by recycling but the fresh and potable water is our prime need which has to be saved for our secure healthy life. Without doing effort to save water, one day life on Earth would not be possible anymore. Globalization essay. Globalization is the spreading of anything worldwide. However, generally it is the process of globalizing products, businesses, technologies, philosophies, etc. all through the world. It is the creation of a successful interconnected marketplace without any limitation of time zone and national boundaries. The most common and clear example of globalization is the spread of McDonald's restaurants all around the world. It became so successful in the worldwide markets because of its effective strategy adapting the culture of different countries in their menus to suit local tastes of people. We can say it is internationalization which is a great combination of both, the globalization and the localization. It is very hard to decide whether the revolution of global marketplace is beneficial or harmful to the humanity. It is still a big confusion. However, it is also tough to ignore that globalization has created greater opportunities to people worldwide. It has changed status and way of living of people in the society to a great extent. It is hugely benefiting the developing nations by providing various developmental opportunities. If we take it positively, it may eradicate the regional diversity and establish a homogenized world culture. It is supported by the information technology and show huge interaction and integration among businesses, companies, government and people of various countries. Globalization has positively and negatively affected the tradition, culture, political system, economic development, lifestyle, prosperity, etc. Essay on Time Management Time management is the ability to utilize one's time efficiently so as to be more productive and organized. It is said that if you master this technique you can accomplish just about anything in life. However, as simplistic as it seems, efficient time management is not something that everyone is good at. It takes a good amount of effort to achieve it. Self-discipline is the key to manage your time well. Keeping a tab on the time and managing it efficiently helps in the following manner. It keeps you motivated to work harder. It increases productivity. It helps you attain more with lesser efforts. It gives a sense of satisfaction. It reduces your stress levels. It increases your quality of work. You can manage your time efficiently with the help of following tips. Prepare a list of tasks to be accomplished during the day. Prioritize your tasks and also set time to complete each of them. Stick to your schedule diligently. Take breaks in between the tasks. Do not forget to take 7 to 8 hours of sleep each day. 
These tips should not only help the students and working professional manage their work efficiently and increase productivity but are also for homemakers to help them stay more organized. Essay on Cricket Cricket is my favorite game than all other outdoor games in India. I used to play cricket in front of my house in the park with my school friends and neighbours. Cricket is a game originated in British Empire, an English origin, however started playing in many countries. We need a bat and a ball to play this game. The cricket game came in vogue and gained popularity by 18th century. There are two teams in cricket with 11 players in each two umpires to notice the faults according to the law and judges all the fair and unfair while playing the cricket. Before stating the game, a coin is tossed by the captain of any team to decide which team start batting first and other one bowling. Both of the teams get the chance of batting alternatively however the team who win the toss to batting first and opposite team to bowling. Cricket has become one of the most fascinating games in India from points of view of the observers. When any national or international level cricket game is fixed to play, highly interested people become so excited a week before the start of the game. Many cricket lovers start booking tickets to see the live and on-site cricket game in the stadium instead of seeing on TV or news. Our country has become one of the famous countries in the field of cricket playing all over the world. Many times India has won the World Cup and many test matches. Importance of sports. Values of sports and games. Sports are nice physical activities that provide freedom from the stress and worries. It has nice scope and professional career for the sports persons. It has ability to give sportspersons their required name, fame and money. So, we can say that, sports can be played for personal benefits as well as professional benefits. In both ways, it benefits our body, mind and soul. Some people play it daily for their body and mind fitness, enjoyment, etc. However some play it to get valuable status in their life. No one can ignore its values in the personal and professional life. First Olympic Games were held in 1896 in Athens which is now held continuously after every four years in different countries. It involves both, outdoor and indoor games in which sportsperson of many countries takes part. Some of the outdoor sports and games are like football, hockey, volleyball, baseball, cricket, tennis, cocoa, kabaddi, etc. which require a playground to be played. Indoor games are like carom, cards, chess, table tennis, puzzle, indoor basketball, etc. can be played at home without any playground. Some sports and games like badminton and table tennis can be enjoyed both as indoor and outdoor. Advantages of sports and games Sports and games are very beneficial to us as they teach us punctuality, patient, discipline, teamwork and dedication. Playing sports help us in building and improving confidence level. If we practice sports on regular basis, we can be more active and healthy. Being involved in the sports activities help us in getting protected with numerous diseases such as arthritis, obesity, obese, heart problems, diabetes, etc. It makes us more disciplined, patient, punctual, and courteous in life. It teaches us to go ahead in life by removing all the weaknesses. It makes us bold and gives the feeling of happiness by reducing the occurrence of anxiety and angry. Makes us physically fit and mentally comfort using which we can easily deal with all the problems. Essay on how I spent my summer vacation at home. Introduction. Summer time is a treat for all the students struggling the whole year with exams and assignments. This is the time when they can spend the days doing whatever they want without any restrictions and pressure of parents or teachers. 
Most of the students along with their parents or friends prefer to go to some hill station or to their village or for other outings to relax. But holidays can also be fun when they are spent staying at home. Things I did staying at home. This summer I decided to stay at my home during summer vacation instead of going anywhere for trip. To spend my time fruitfully. I joined classes where I learned canvas painting and along with it, I also started learning table tennis. During the afternoons, I helped my mom in kitchen and also assisted my dad with some accounts related tasks. This was the best time where I felt more close to and involved with my family. Then, for the remaining time I went out with friends. I also spent some time watching movies and web series. Besides entertainment, these shows and movies also taught me some life lessons. Conclusion. So, this summer vacation was spent getting closer to myself and my family which I wasn't able to do during my academic year. I realized how fruitful and satisfying can it be to spend holidays at home essay on music and its importance. Music has a divine power. It is a great source of entertainment. It binds people together. It brings back several fond memories from the past. It helps us connect with our inner self and also serves as an excellent medium of self-expression. Music is loved by the mankind and is essential for its well-being. Music has been one of the main sources of entertainment since the ancient times. During the earlier times, when there were no televisions, internet connection, video games or any other way to keep oneself entertained, music helped people combat boredom. It also helped them connect better with each other. People sung folklores and danced to their tunes. Musical instruments came into shape slowly and they took music to a different level. Today, music is a full-fledged industry which has become a source of income for many. Besides offering entertainment, music is also known for its therapeutic power. It calms the nervous system and heals many physical and mental ailments. Doctors around the world have started including music therapy as a part of various medical treatments as it helps in a speedy recovery. As a part of this therapy, the patients listen to music. They also compose music, play different musical instruments, and write lyrics, dance and chant. Music is indeed a great way to boost the quality of life. Essay on Spring Season. Introduction. Spring season is the best and most favorite season of the year. People, especially kids, are fond of this season because of its beauty, slight cool and comfortable nature. It is the queen of all seasons of the year and considered as the favorite season of the poets. It comes after winter season and before summer season. It begins from the month of March and ends in the month of May. On the arrival of spring season everything on the earth looks adorable and charming. All the trees get new clothes in the form of new leaves, flower starts blooming and fragrancing, birds start dancing and singing on the tree branches. Sky becomes clear, cloudless and blue. Fields become full of green grasses and other so many changes occur in the nature. Spring season is the season of flowers and festivals thus brings lots of joy and happiness. Colorful and beautiful flowers completely win the heart and green grasses give us a nice ground to walk in the garden. Beautiful flying butterflies catch our eyes often in the morning and evening. Day and night both become very pleasant and cool. Environment becomes full of charming sounds of bees, cuckoo, and other birds in the early morning. Season of joy and happiness. Spring season provides great pleasure, joy and happiness. There is too much cold in winter, too hot in summer and it becomes mud and dirt everywhere. In the rainy season that's why spring is called a season of joy and happiness.
Everyone enjoy this season to a great extent and wants to grab its all attraction between the winter and summer. Spring is the season of joy and happiness for all the living beings like tree, plants, flowers, animals, birds, human beings, etc. Because it is neither hot nor cold. Days and nights become almost same length, neither too short nor too long. Everyone becomes fed up of cold in winter, hot in summer and mud and dirt in rainy season. Conclusion. The real beauty of spring nourishes our health and we forget about all the sorrows of life. It fills heart with lots of joy and happiness. So, we really enjoy this season with pleasant sights everywhere. Essay on role model. I love my mom. I love her the most is the thought that comes to my mind when I think about her. She is the one who loves me unconditionally and cares for me beyond imagination. When she embraces me I get the most tranquil feeling in life. She knows it all before even I know what I want in my life. She reads my silence, my tears, my mind and my heart. But, does she know that she has the biggest place in my heart? Life doesn't come with any manual it just comes with a mother and all our questions and doubts in life are answered. One person that I always want besides me is my mom. She constantly plays so many roles in my life be it a teacher, mentor, cook or a doctor and so on. Her selflessness is unmatched. She endures all the problems in life with a smiling face and stands strong and firm. She is my inspiration to be a strong and loving mother. She is truly my role model. Though, I never know whether I can ever fit in her shoes. It breaks my heart when she is upset or when she falls sick. I have one little prayer to God. Just keep my parents healthy and happy forever. Essay on Role Model Father is the only man in the world who will never hurt his daughter. A father-daughter relation is the most beautiful relation in the world. It is so cute and touching how fathers care for the daughters and enjoy their tantrums. My father is my role model. I am his first priority and he is always partial towards me than my brothers. He pampers me and makes me feel like the most special daughter in the world. Like every other father he too is very protective for me. He never forgets to buy special gifts for me from everywhere he travels for business. He supports me and guides me through each and every phase of my life. I share unexpressed bond with my father that comprises of respect, love and care. He is an introvert who generally doesn't express his feelings when he is upset, but I understand how he feels on different occasions. I know the wounds of his heart and the struggles he has done throughout his life. His children are his world and he has always provided them with what they want, even in the most challenging periods of his life. He has always been strong and firm, but he never complains or shows that he is tired of being so strong, but I do know, I really know he is and it really pinches my heart. He believes strongly in humanity and lives with his ethics in life. He is the most kind-hearted person and never ever wishes evil for anyone in life. He is hard-working, dedicated and sincere in his work. He is a simple person and loves to live a simple life. He inspires to be a good human being in life. I love him. He is the most special man in my life. He will forever be my hero mentor and guide throughout my life. Essay on Traffic Jam Traffic jam occurs when movement of vehicles is hampered at a particular place for some reasons over a certain period of time. 
If the number of vehicles plying on a street or road is increased than the maximum capacity it is billed to sustain, it results in traffic jams. Traffic jam or traffic congestion is an everyday affair in big cities. It is the result of growing population and the increase in use of personal, public as well as commercial transport vehicles. The congestion mostly occurs on the main roads during peak hours when people commute to work or on their way back home. But there is no fixed time and an unprecedented surge in the number of vehicles on roads have made traffic jams any time affair. The industrial development in the recent years has only aided to the problem of traffic jam by increasing number of on-road transport vehicles. The loss of the valuable time caused by the traffic jams is not at all good for a nation's economical growth. In addition, it results in more wastage of fuel by stationary vehicles only contributing more to the environmental pollution. There is also an increased possibility for road mishaps as the vehicles need to stand or move in close proximity to each other and also because of aggressive driving by frustrated drivers. Overall, the time wasted in traffic jams also leads to the economic loss of the country. Various measures need to be taken to control the traffic congestion and further develop the public transport system. People should follow the traffic rules and use public transport when possible. Essay on Objectives of GST. GST is an abbreviation for Goods and Services Tax, India. It is a uniform indirect tax, replacing various indirect taxes at different stages, levied before by both central and state governments. GST treats India as one big market following a uniform tax regime throughout the country irrespective of states, though GST is charged by all the registered dealers in a supply chain raw materials supplier, manufacturer, 
wholesaler, retailer, consumer. From the next customer, the ultimate burden of the tax is on the end customer i.e. the consumer. All the other dealers registered with GST act as intermediaries collecting GST from the consumer and passing it on to the government, getting tax credit in return. This tax credit is called input tax credit and is placed against the GST charged by the dealer to the customer, to which he she is supplying goods. Any registered dealer is also eligible for tax refund if the input tax credit exceeds the output tax credit, as according to the provisions provided by law in this regard. Moreover, no GST credit could be claimed for the purchase of exempted goods. The GST is not levied on all types of vegetables, organic manure, contraceptives, printed books, stamp papers, agricultural equipments etc. Essay on Problems of Traffic Jams Introduction. Traffic jam is a condition in which the vehicles get stuck in a jam for a certain period of time. Traffic jams are frustrating and waste a lot of time causing unnecessary delays in reaching one's destination. Traffic congestion is a problem that occurs with the increasing use of vehicles characterized by slower movement and increase in travel time leading to longer vehicle queues. Traffic problem in India. India is a country with second largest network of roads in the world, out of 5.4 million kilometers long network of road, 97,991 km is covered by national highways. It is a huge challenge for Indian government to provide high-class road transport networks due to steep increase in commercial vehicles. There is increase in number of private vehicles and the roads are overburdened in almost all big cities of India. It is a day-to-day -day affair and pain to deal with traffic, pollution and aggressive drivers on the roads causing a major mental and physical stress for people these days. On an average, a person spends around 30 minutes to 2 hours in the day driving. Most of this time is spent in traffic jams. Indian cities still have poor public transport and a majority of people have to depend on private transport. Increase in the population density in cities is the major factor responsible for the pressure on street capacity. The overuse of urban roads also degrades the quality of roads. Increasing traffic hinders the development of new roads. In addition, air pollution and noise pollution has grown drastically due to traffic jams in the recent years. The recent pollution level in Delhi was an alarming incident for the country. The odd-even scheme was designed by the Delhi CM to deal with the issue. Conclusion Various measures need to be taken to improve the public transport network and infrastructure. Carpooling and bike pooling should be exercised more often by people. New plans and schemes should be devised and implemented effectively to solve the traffic issue. Essay on Postman Importance of Postman Introduction In ancient times, people relied on pigeons to convey messages to their loved ones living in faraway lands. However, as things changed these were replaced by a more reliable medium. Post offices came into being and postmen were hired to deliver important letters, parcels, and documents. The importance of postmen in the earlier times. A postman was one of the most important community helpers in the times when there were no phones. People communicated with their relatives and friends living in distant lands by way of handwritten letters that were delivered by postmen. 
Since banks were not easily accessible and there were no ATMs, people often sent money orders. Gifts and other important parcels were also sent by a post. A telegram was sent in case an urgent message had to be conveyed. The role of the postman was thus that of great responsibility in the past. People relied upon him for receiving money and important messages and things. They keenly waited for postmen each day. The importance of postmen in the modern times. It would not be wrong to say that the importance of postmen has lowered to some extent due to the introduction of phones and emails. Instead of writing long letters to each other, people send quick messages or emails to convey the message. They no longer have to wait for days to hear from each other. They can simply make a call or text their loved ones as well as business associates and connect with them instantly. All the banking transactions including the transfer of money and receiving of documents is also done online. People hardly send money orders these days. However, receiving handwritten letters is still a great feeling. The importance of postman may have reduced with time but he is still an essential part of our community. He still delivers many important posts such as university results, admission cards, weekly, monthly magazines, and the likes. Conclusion. Though we have now shifted to the electronic mediums of communication, however, the role of a postman is still important. It is good to see that most postmen carry out the duties with honesty and dedication. Essay on Postman. A postman is a community helper. He is as important to the society as other community helpers such as a doctor, a teacher, a policeman, and a vegetable seller. He helps in connecting people by conveying their messages to each other. A postman wears a khaki uniform and holds a bag full of letters on his shoulder. He rides a bicycle and roams around on streets to deliver letters to different addresses. He needs to make sure that every letter reaches the correct address. He also needs to ensure that the letters are delivered timely. Many people subscribe to magazines and newsletters. These are also delivered by the postman. He is reprimanded in case he dirt perform his duty well. Postman's profession is quite tough. He faces many hardships such as riding the cycle all day long irrespective of the weather outside. Whether it is rainy, windy or sunny, a postman cannot take a leave. He needs to be out on his cycle to distribute the letters so that people do not miss any important message. This can be quite strenuous physically. However, he does his job with dedication. By evening he needs to report to the post office. He is allowed to go home only after the postmaster's approval. Despite the hard work, a postman is not paid well. I wish the government increases the allowance of the postman. Essay on money can't buy happiness. In general, happiness is a difficult word to define. The way of measuring happiness is different for everyone. Few people trust that money can buy happiness, whereas others disagree. According to me, although having lots of money will surely provide us lot of ways to entertain ourselves but it can't buy love and happiness. Money can't buy love and a happy life comes from having good friends and family who care about us. Our life becomes meaningful and happy when we are around loved ones. For example, 
I have read an article about a famous actress in Bollywood who died due to depression and was all alone during her last days. She had been a really popular actress because of her beauty and acting skills. Even though she was earning a huge fortune every year, she was not happy as she didn't have any close friend or family who could take care of her. Whereas I have seen people who have a happy life without money because they are surrounded by people who love them and care for them. In most cases people have to work hard to earn lots of money and due to which they have less time for their social life. Many businessmen work six days a week and earn good money but they don't have the time to spend that money and remain stressed. People have money but if they don't have the time to enjoy their life then it is worthless. Essay on money can't buy happiness. Introduction. This term happiness can be well explained by the happiness model. It is quite simple. Happiness refers to a greater presentation which can bring greater rewards. Let's take a look at the happiness model. The happiness model. According to this model, if you love what you do then it is obvious that you will be keen on knowing it better and will have a better clarity on the subject. With this clarity, you are bound to perform better which lead you to success and thus the reward attached to it. A psychological study has revealed that bigger happiness, comfort, and positivity can show the way to better performance. Whatsoever activity one is undertaking, he is sure to be successful when he is in a state of happiness. It enables him to perform at a superior level. What does it bring? It brings the rewards that you are aiming at. These can be both monetary and non-monetary. It can be a simple appreciation from your superior at work and receiving a pat on the back. On the other hand, it may also lead to the achievement of your sales target and attainment of the bonus attached to it, or a greater opportunity of getting a promotion. The more constant and steady your happiness and optimistic outlook is, the better performance you will have in your pursuit. A person will be more productive and more successful in whatever work he is doing if he is coming to work with excitement each day. In your personal life, it is not different. Conclusion. You will reap the reward if you do what you love. You will generally perform better and will not only be more wealthy in monetary and non-monetary terms but you will also lead a more fulfilling and happy life. There is a world of opportunities. So get out into the world and enjoy what's around. Essay on Unity is Strength. Introduction. The importance of staying united in every situation is emphasized through the proverb unity is strength. This has been used as a motto for various organizations as well as missions across the globe. Though the wordings in many cases have been changed slightly however the meaning remains the same. Importance of staying united. We cannot deny the importance of staying united in various situations. Believing in these words of wisdom and acting according to them helps build a better life and countering them can create difficulties. A common example to explain the same can be a family situation. If all the members in a family stand united and help each other with their tasks each one of them will benefit in the event. However, if they counter each other at every instance and try to enforce their ideologies and rules on each other, they shall never be happy. Besides creating a tense environment at home which is especially bad for the growth of the kids. Such an attitude will also encourage outsiders to take advantage of the situation, 
If we look around, the families where people respect and take care of each other are happier. The children there get a healthier environment which is essential for their all-round development and the adults in the family also live a wholesome life. They depend on each other and take it as their responsibility to fulfill all their duties with joy. They do not crib, complain or conspire against each other. On the other hand, the families where people don't stand by each other and are busy trying to put the others down do not only ruin their own life but also that of their coming generations. People belonging to such families often feel lonely and end up in depression. Conclusion. It is time people should recognize the importance of staying united and imbibe it in their life to live a healthier and happier Essay life. Essay on laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is the best medicine because when you laugh you get healed. Most of your stress. Anger and pain get relieved when you laugh. A good laugh will heal your mind, body and soul. It will keep you calm and composed. It's a supplement to balance your physical and emotional health. The ability to laugh frequently is a wonderful resource to overcome most of your problems and enrich relations. A hearty laugh eases your stress and physical tension. It improves the function of blood and increases the flow of blood in your body. This will help protect against heart attack and many other diseases. Laughter also helps increase your energy level that would keep you charged throughout. Humor helps build positive attitude towards various situations in life and reduces negativity. Negative attitude and energy will have negative effect on your life and health while positive attitude will affect your health and life positively. Optimistic attitude is also very important to stay focused and to develop positive relationships. Sharing joy and happiness will always increase your delight. Thus one should always maintain positive attitude in life and keep laughing. You will spread joy and happiness around you as that is the way you will feel from within. So stay happy and spread happiness. Essay laughter is the best medicine. Introduction. The proverb, laughter is the best medicine means laughter is the best way to get cured emotionally and physically. It is a natural medicine to recover faster. Laughter yoga. Laughter yoga is a mind-body exercise gaining ground all over the world as a reliable therapy for depression, stress and anxiety. Laughter yoga is being promoted all over the world. People come together and participate in performing forced laughter with simple breathing and yoga techniques. In yoga it is believed that you don't need reason to laugh. You can simply practice laughing to gain its benefits. When you attend such a laughter therapy session even as a viewer it causes you to laugh. The exercise in itself is so much fun. One can't stop laughing watching funny faces. You gain positive energy and perspective from such laugh therapies. It is a great social activity and there are no barriers. There are several people who benefit and recover from laughing therapies. It completely rejuvenates your mood. It is the kind of exercise that improves our overall health. It has its positive effect on mind and body as well. It helps us relax our muscles and prevent the release of stress hormones. Laughing exercises also initiate the release of endorphins which makes you feel good and relieves pain. It works wonders in reducing stress, anxiety and depression. 
it gives a boost to your immunity making you feel more energetic. It is also a group activity and will help develop your social connections and reduce the feeling of dejection. Conclusion. Life is hectic and stressful these days but ignoring our health is not sensible. Health is actually true wealth and to improve overall health and enjoy the benefits of laughter we all must join laughter yoga clubs. It reduces the day-to-day -day stress and energizes us for the daily chores. Essay on Unity is Strength. Unity is Strength is a proverb that almost everyone has heard of. It often forms a part of the moral science course in junior classes. The meaning of this proverb is simple yet profound. While it simply means that we must stay united in order to stay stronger however practicing this can be as difficult especially in today's competitive world. It is ironic how we are taught to stay united yet made to compete against each other at every step in our life. A number of related proverbs such as union is strength, united we stand, Divided we fall and strength is in unity have been coined in the past. Many stories have also been written to explain how staying united and maintaining cordial relations with others renders strength. When we stand united we can fight anything or anyone as we become more powerful. On the other hand, if we fight with our neighbors, friends and relatives and constantly try to prove that we are better than them then in the end we shall be left alone. This is true for every relationship as well as in our professional life. When we work as a team and help each other out, we are able to work better on a project. On the contrary, if we have conflicts within the team then we are likely to fall short. Essay on United We Stand Divided We Fall. The phrase coined by the ancient Greek storyteller Aesop states the importance of working together as a team. United we stand, divided we fall implies that if we work on something as a team and live in harmony with each other we shall succeed in life and if we go against each other and try to work on a task alone we are likely to fail at it. Explanation by examples. United we stand, divided we fall, the phrase is used commonly at several places. However, it has best been explained through the story of a farmer and his sons. The sons could not break a bundle of sticks. When they were asked to do it individually however when they were asked to perform the same task jointly they could do it easily. This clearly explains that when people come together they can perform even a difficult task with ease. Use of the phrase at different places. In the U.S. history, the phrase was first used by John Dickinson in his pre-Revolutionary War song, The Liberty Song. It was published in the Boston Gazette in July 1768. In December, 1792, the first Kentucky General Assembly adopted the official seal of Commonwealth with the state motto, a circumflex euro united we stand, divided we fall. Since 1942, the phrase has become the official non-Latin state motto of Kentucky. The phrase is written around the center circle on the Missouri flag. It became popular in India during its struggle for freedom from the British rule. It was used to inspire people to come together and fight for independence. Ulster loyalists have also used this phrase. It is seen in some loyalist Northern Irish murals. The phrase, United we stand, divided we fall has also been used in several songs by different artists. Conclusion 
it is rightly said that a circumflex euro united we stand, divided we fall. In life, we come across several situations at home, in school, office and other places wherein this phrase holds true. We must thus work and live in harmony with others. Essay on United we stand divided we fall. United we stand. Divided we fall means that it is wise to stick together and work in collaboration with others instead of working against each other. Working as a team is a sure shot way to success. Origin of the phrase united we stand, divided we fall. The phrase was coined during the ancient era by the Greek storyteller Aesop. It had a direct mention in his fable The Four Oxen and the Lion and indirect one in the bundle of sticks. The New Testament also includes a similar phrase that reads, And if a house be divided against itself that house cannot stand. Other phrases from the New Testament read, And Jesus knew their thoughts, and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand and but he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. Conclusion the statement is used commonly to emphasize the importance of working in coordination with each other. It is indeed true that a single person cannot accomplish a difficult task or may take a lot of time and energy to do it however if the same task is handled collectively by more men it can easily be accomplished. Essay on prevention is better than cure. Introduction Prevention is better than cure is a proverb which completely suits us in our daily sphere of life. It teaches us to take preventive measures always in our life to get away from all sorts of dangers. Preventive measures help us to save our health, effort, time and money. Preventive measures are very essential in our life required to deal with the effects of bad circumstances regarding healthy life. It is good to have preventive measures earlier than following them while getting affected with any type of health disorder. So, we should take all the preventive measures before spreading of diseases. Preventive measures are like drinking clean water eating healthy diet at right time, washing hands with soap before and after taking food. Washing hands with soap after each and every use of toilet, follow good habits of hygiene, taking daily bath, wearing clean cloth, taking proper sleep during night, etc. Importance of it in our daily life. This proverb prevention is better than cure has various importance in our daily life. Following it in our life, we can be prevented from illness. It teaches us to adopt healthy habits of eating and living. It teaches us to do everything in advance in order to avoid last moment harassment. We should plan our all the activities for the project we have already decided to do in future. It helps us to prevent from all the hazards that may occur because of our irregularity in the daily routine. For example, if we have planned for holidays, we should plan and work accordingly to the trip for getting smooth travel. If we eat easily digestible foods, our stomach will be healthy and calm. If we are not prepared for the exam, we will get harassed at the exam time. So, we should make ourselves ready for all the circumstances. Conclusion Prevention is a big tool which helps us in many ways if we understand its real meaning and follow its teachings in our daily routine all through the life. 
it benefits a lot than it means. Essay on prevention is better than cure. Prevention is better than cure is a most famous proverb which is a big example to us in our daily life. It teaches us to maintain a healthy, disciplined, and tension-free lifestyle in order to remain away from any health issue or disease. It is easy to follow prevention methods to be safe from any problem however cure is a while dangerous for our health as it do not give surety of complete wellness once we get suffered from some problems. It is much easier for us to prevent the problem from happening than solving it when happened. It is good to go to the doctor when we get sick but it is very good when we don't need to go to the doctor all around the year. Being healthy is much better than falling sick which is only possible when we follow prevention methods and be safe. It is very necessary for us to take all the precautionary and preventive measures in advance and avoid silly mistakes. We should take precautions during the change of every season so that we may not fall sick. Being indifferent or negligent to our health may definitely cause illness which may end to the costly cure and perhaps, sometimes impossible to get normal health.